captain's earning his money this morning. We've just come into uh, Picton. Just behind me is the pier. I think we're at the port that we're going to be entering. So the captain's doing a little bit of a 360 and then going to back straight into this. Back on board. I'm touching land for another three days. Oh yeah. And back home. Back to sea legs, hey? I like the sea legs, eh? Hey? Do you? <laughs> so when we were boarding the ship to come back from Picton, now, when, when you go through the security area there, just behind that, they must have like these jails. And um, I do remember there was some police standing there, New Zealand police. And then when I was up on the balcony filming the bus and whatever else, um, prior to that, there was actually a, um, a cop car there. So I thought, oh, that's, you know, that's a little strange. So what's going on there? So it was the next day I was upstairs and I happened to – see the same security guard that was downstairs when we got on board. So I was chatting to him about all the security and um, he was telling me all about the security risks that happened on board, not so much in Australia but more in America. He was telling me a story where one guy literally stowed himself on board and was actually hidden in one of the rooms. He managed to get through, I don't know how, but um, he sort of stowed on board and they had to sort of get him and take him off. And then an another story, they, uh, a man had actually smuggled himself on board and had taken someone hostage. So th the security levels are pretty high when you hop on board. That's probably why they sort of are really strict with photography and whatever else when you're actually getting back on the ships. But um, when I was talking to him, he told me another story about the, the police car. So one of the nightclubs... Um, during at some point in time, there was an altercation between a man and his wife and he'd actually bashed his wife. Now, this is on our trip. Bashed his wife and she was like kind of messed up. She had to go to the hospital. So they ended up arresting him on the ship, on ovation, uh, on one of the nights and he was still locked inside the brig or actually their jail cell. So the New Zealand police are in Picton uh, were there to actually grab him and and take him off. So I'd actually seen a couple of um, altercations on one of the dance floors. I think it was in the music hall. And I thought, oh, maybe that was the guy. But, yeah, it wasn't that guy. It was just somebody else. But there you go. Finally, after an awesome day, last bus has just come and dropped off the last of us. But, you know, oh, I tell a lie. We might have one more bus coming. A couple of stragglers. Everyone's supposed to be back on board by uh, 4.30. It's about 5 o'clock now. Tell another lie, it's 20 past 5. The ship's supposed to be sailing out at uh, 6 o'clock, I think. And we're finally back on board the Ovation of the Seas. This is the last day in Picton, last day on land too. Once we leave here, we'll have another two days at sea and then back home in Sydney. This morning we got in fairly early actually, about 6, I think we docked here at about 6.30 but they took ages and ages to actually tie down all the ropes and stuff like that and we had a uh, tour booked at 8 o'clock. So we'd gone down to the gangway quite early, about 7.30 when it was actually supposed to be gangways uh, down at 7.30 and letting everyone off the ship but we didn't actually get off the ship till about 8.30. So lucky for us, we went to the uh, Beachcomber Tours and we managed to get on another tour. In the twilight's gentle flow, in the dance of fading light we grow. Which took us out towards the island we were actually going to go to, but only to pick up a couple of people. We ended up going to like Captain Cook Island or Ship Cove, I think it was called. By everyone, you get fooled by anyone so easily. Awesome tour, tour guide Jason was just amazing. So much wealth of information. Then we did a little tour around Picton when we got back. Just searching for someone when you need me right now. It's now or never, babe. I just wanted you to see it's natural desire. Cause you need me right now, now.
Had a bite to eat. So we just spent the last 20 minutes just walking around Picton looking for somewhere to eat. And um, every place we go to, it's been like an hour wait. So we just wandered north. Head up the hill a little bit and uh, away from all the crowds. And we found this awesome, it's like a food truck. <laughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oops, there goes my sunnies. That's okay, they're done anyway. This, this little taste of heaven. It's exactly like Kentucky Fried Chicken KFC. But only better. And Joe's found some gluten-free chips. Chips. <laughs> which are absolutely delicious. They are. They're very good. Ah. So avoid the herds and just wander a bit. You might actually find something awesome. Lovely food, absolutely amazing countryside of Picton. Just, just can't get enough of the mountain, the green, just, uh, just unbelievable. Now we're back on board and probably got to head up to the Solarium Cafe now to grab something to eat because we are starving. So while we wait for the main dining, we've come up to the Solarium Cafe. And uh, we thought we'd just have a meal before we have a meal. I think this will be my meal, but... <laughs> <laughs> and I've got lamb tangine duo, they call it. Tangine. Tangine. So that looks like, like lamb in some sort of sauce with uh, polenta. Polenta. With some falafel. Was that polenta, was it? Oh, it looks like polenta. Falafel balls and we've got some oh, hummus no, and couscous. garlic dip. Oh, it's couscous. Well, Do a poly. Yeah. Couscous. Oh, and you've of got course. the chicken, like the of roast course. chicken. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to try all the cuisines on the ship, especially if you're only on here for 10, 10 nights. It's good to just try every dinner, whether it's in the Windjam or it's a Solarium bar. You can go down to um, Cafe 270, I think. I don't know if they do dinner or not, but I'll just be mindful that if you are coming to the Solarium Cafe, it actually turns into a restaurant at night, and you're supposed to have a booking, but we just walked in. Just devoured that uh, lamb. That was delicious with the couscous. Now I've got the falafel. If I can get it out of here. The garlic sauce. It's actually um, garlic sauce with a bit of falafel. Really good as well. It's almost like a tapas bar tonight. Yeah. The solarium, yeah, cafe, or the bistro. Hmm. Oh. They all get served in those little, little bowls. You just help yourself. Um, now, I'll say goodbye to Picton. That is the last we're going to see of you. Well, all land. Till Sydney. Just magnificent, these sounds. We're going to scum it tonight. We're going to slum it. We're going to take a step down tonight. We're going to the Windjammer for dinner. Well, you know what I've done? Oh, yeah. oh that's just <laughs> topped it off. Is I've gone round to all the windows, whatever yep. you call them, the carveries or yep. whatever they're called, yep. and just chosen every single bit of protein that I could find in every Ew. part of it. Ew. And I've just done sample bits. Ew. So I've got like pork chop, I've got, I've got a chicken drumstick, like barbecued. I had before. Oh. Um, some more chicken, pork, roast beef with some gravy on it, and I've got some fish. I'd hard attack on a plate. Fish, no carbs, zero carbs. So just high calorie meats. That's disgusting. That's disgusting, she said. I honestly got no idea what I've got, but I've just grabbed everything. That's like a one of these is a cheesecake, a Boston. Is that a Boston cake? That's a pudding. Bread pudding, sorry, with custard. 
Yeah, I, don't, I forget what this one's called. But I've gone all out. I've basically gone from 2200 calories a day before I got on the cruise to going 2200 calories per meal. 22,000. <laughs> If you are enjoying this series on Ovation of the Seas, make sure you like and subscribe and do all that sort of awesome stuff. I've got a uh, galley tour coming up next and then a couple more sea days. And then after that, we take our first ever cruise on Virgin Voyages from Melbourne. So make sure you uh, stick around for that one. Uh, that's the end of this episode, so I'll um, catch you on the next one. <laughs>